Let's talk about aromatase inhibitors and side effects. I'm Dr. Eleanor Chaplinski. I'm a board certified medical oncologist specializing in breast cancer. We use aromatase inhibitors for hormone receptor positive breast cancer. And the way that they work is they inhibit the enzyme aromatase. And it, what ends up happening is that you block estrogen production typically block estrogen production from adipose tissue or your fat cells and the adrenal glands which sit above the kidneys. It does not, the aromatase inhibitors do not have any action on the estrogen that is produced by the ovary. And so you have to be in menopause to be on an aromatase inhibitor because if you are not, the ovary is still going to produce estrogen, essentially negating the effects of that aromatase inhibitor. So you may be naturally in menopause, you've gone through it naturally, you either had your ovaries removed or you've um, been put on ovarian suppression um, so that you can be on an aromatase inhibitors. And I have other videos about why we do that and when we do that. But let's talk about some of the most common side effects of aromatase inhibitors. There are three, anastrozole, letrozole, and exemestane. They all have the same class of side effects, but some people tolerate one better than the other. So we sometimes do switch around from one to the other. I'm going to go over some of the most common side effects. Now, you may be, again, listening and saying, oh, well, I had this side effect that's not mentioned here. I'm going over most common things, understanding that everyone has a slightly different experience. So side effects, hot flashes and night sweats that can impact fatigue, sleep, quality of life as a result. You know, hot flashes and night sweats can be very debilitating. People can experience mood changes, vaginal dryness, or other genitourinary symptoms of menopause. They can impact your sexual health, libido, desire. One of the most common side effects is osteoporosis. Really important to be getting regular bone density scans. So I always make sure someone has had one prior to starting an AI, and then I do it every two years. We talk a lot about the importance of strength training to focus on that bone density and that muscle mass. And some people do end up needing bone supporting medications, um, but those are individual discussions. Other side effects of aromatase inhibitors include that they can increase your cholesterol and your blood pressure. They can increase insulin resistance, lower insulin sensitivity. So people find that they sometimes have a harder time losing weight, an easier time gaining weight despite doing all the same things. So we're always keeping an eye on that. And I always make sure that people are routinely getting their cholesterol checked and their blood pressure monitored. We can see hair thinning. We can see occasionally some GI side effects, some nausea, but that tends to go away after a little bit when someone starts it. Watch for cataract. Rarely people can experience sinus changes, runny nose, post-nasal drip. And lastly, joint pain is another big one on aromatase inhibitors. Um, estrogen is really a lubricant for the joint, so when you take it away, things can become stiff, they can be uncomfortable. And I have a separate video talking about all about how we manage uh, joint pain with aromatase inhibitors. I'd love to know your experience with aromatase inhibitors. The side effects tend to happen early if they do, um, and then they tend to improve. Um, but there are things that we can do to manage the side effects and try to improve people's quality of life while they're on the medication. Tell me your experience in the comments.